Welcome to part 2 of Python based ransomware. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how my ransomware works. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is just download the code from GitHub. I have given the link in the description below. Just follow the link. Type github.com slash pycodehacker slash pysum. Okay. So from here you can download the source code or you can just copy it and say git clone. So as you can see I have downloaded the code and extracted onto my desktop. Here I have the first thing I have here is my ransomware server which is going to run on a Linux based operating system. Maybe your Kali, maybe your Ubuntu or whatever you like. So um, here I have our payload which goes through our victim machine so let's first copy out our ransomware server to our Kali machine copy and then paste okay so let's go to the desktop and we have our payload uh, we have our server right here so for running our server just type python followed by the name of the server the first thing you will enter is the IP address which are on which it's going to listen and the second thing on the port, the port address okay so here I, we have set up our server the next thing we have to check is the IP address of our Kali machine so we are going to do this demonstration on local LAN that's why I'm using the simply this the IP address or if you want to go through WAN so you can just forward it from uh, servio.net or other port forwarding solution so I'm just doing it on local LAN so I'm copying the IP address of my tracker machine and uh, edit our ransomware payload let's first open it up okay so here it is open now and in this place just change the IP with your attacker machine's IP followed by the port number. Remember that this IP should be in a string or inside the double quotes otherwise it's not going to work. Okay. So and the port number should always be in a number. Okay. At the end we don't need this code anymore. So let's just delete it out and save it. So basically not every system comes with Python pre-installed. So we are going to convert this payload into a exe. So just open up a terminal and add the same folder and type py installer followed by the name ransomware payload hyphen hyphen one file because we don't need to have dependencies on our separate folders followed by hyphen w so what hyphen w will do will kill the terminal window and our payload will run in the background so just press enter and here our payload is converting to exe this will take just a couple of minutes so we have successfully created our payload you can find that payload inside the dist folder here it is ransomware payload.exe so we are going to change it or name something decent like security underscore update okay so now this uh, you have to send this payload somehow to the victim you can take some help of social engineering or those things so this is the demo purpose so i'm just going to copy it to my victim machine okay so before running my payload let me show you what i have included in my uh, victim machine so we have couple of zip files some documents also music, some pictures and also some videos. Okay. So uh, when the victim will click on this payload, 
a prompt will generate for administration rights when he will click yes so our payload will start in background as you can see here we have got a connection from this IP address at this port and it says hello there then my server will generate a random password it is totally random you can see here this is totally random password and use that password to generate another key this is our key so this key is going to our victim machine and our victim machine will use this our payload will use this to encrypt all those files so you can see here our documents have already been encrypted so our videos uh, our songs also pictures haven't not encrypted yet just take a couple of minutes you can see it is very magically happens when it encrypts see so our pictures are also encrypted our videos are also encrypted as you can see everything is totally encrypted okay so basically a normal ransomware will left a banner on the desktop saying that all of your data has been encrypted as you can see on the WannaCry one where it shows up a screen and say oops your data has been encrypted pay the ransom to this Bitcoin address and uh, and you will get your decrypting address uh, the key so um, I have not included those things that I believe this task for you just make a banner and inject it with the payload okay so here I have encrypted everything if I want to decrypt those files let's say I want to uh, decrypt this let's say I want to decrypt this common password.txt file so just take our decrypted tool decrypt a tool from here and just send it to our victim machine take our decrypted tool copy it to our victim machine and paste it okay so we need a key to decrypt this file which only will be provided by the attacker machine as you can see here this is our key and I have uh, the server will automatically save this key in the form of a dot key file so you need to somehow get this file by paying the ransom to the ransomware uh, to the hacker or so let's just copy our key to our victim machine and run our decryption tool so when we run our decryption tool it will ask for the location of the key in our case we are going to name as random.key on the desktop random.key and start the decryption process so as you can see here the encrypted file has been converted into a decrypted file just remove the first lines and press enter and you can now open and see everything right here okay so that's all for today if you have some questions or doubt you can comment down below also in the next video I will explain my whole code so please subscribe my channel don't forget to like comment and share thank you